Hi, and welcome back to part 2 of the F5 iRules LX tutorial. My name is Artyom. Please check out my previous videos to find out what iRules LX are and why I'm so excited about this new feature. In this part of the tutorial, we'll review our test environment, go over the iRules LX architecture and focus on the TCL side of the configuration. Let's get started. Our test scenario here is that we have a client PC accessing a virtual server, the one we set up in part 1 of this tutorial. Once traffic hits this virtual server, a traditional TCL iRule is gonna be activated. Please note how the TCL runs inside of the data plane, the TMM, while the Node.js logic and all of its modules run inside the control plane. It's based on the V8 Google compiler, also used inside of the Google Chrome browser. Additionally, libuv is the library providing Node.js with the asynchronous input and output so JavaScript code can continue running in the background while waiting for the input and output actions to complete. At this point, the next thing that's going to happen is that the traditional TCL IRO is going to utilize an RPC connection to the control plane using the MPI or the message passing interface. Since we're utilizing the Node.js modules for a specific task or purpose, I only need a single bit of information to pass over the RPC bridge between the data plane and the control plane. In this case, an IP address of the client PC. The default F5 Node.js package or module is the RPC logic taking care of the connection on the control plane or Node.js side. Next, we'll utilize the request package to initiate an HTTP GET connection to an IP reputation database. Once a reputation result for our specific client IP address is received back from the database using the HTTP reply, we'll use the Node.js string module to parse the payload, extract the exact result of the reputation lookup, and decide whether we want to allow that specific client IP to access the pool members or deny it. In case the reputation of that specific IP address wasn't clean, we'll simply drop the TCP connection. In case of a good reputation, the connection back to the pool members is gonna be allowed. So again, the use case here is that a client PC is going to try accessing a TCP virtual server that will have no HTTP logic. The TCL IRL is going to take the client IP, pass it over the RPC channel to the Node.js module, which in turn is going to query the IP reputation database, and if the result is clean, the connection back to the pool members is going to be allowed. Please pay attention to the TMM and the TCL iRule connecting over RPC to the Node.js process, the data plane connection to the control plane over the MPI. This is the iRules LX architecture. So let's change a couple of things for the virtual server we set up in part 1 of this tutorial and move on to the TCL iRule part of the configuration. I already have a pool set up with three pool members available. Let's add that pool to the virtual server. The virtual server is now available and when trying to access it we get this test page. Next, let's go to the workspace we created in part 1 of this tutorial. 
I will edit and review the code for the TCL iRule part of the solution. So I'm changing the iRule event to client accepted because I'd like this IP reputation lookup to take place only a single time for every new TCP connection. Line 3 is where we use the ILX init command to create an RPC handle to the plugin we've created earlier and the extension. We use the log command to log the RPC handle to varlog LTM. Next, an ILX call function is used on that RPC handle to pass the IP client address information to the Node.js module, specifically to the IP reputation method we haven't created yet. Whatever is going to be received back from the control plane via the RPC connection is going to be stored in this variable. We'll use the log function again to log the RPC response. In this case, if the RPC response is going to be anything but zero, we'll just reject the session. As a quick overview, on this line we simply create the RPC connection to the Node.js process. The ILX call function again uses that connection to pass the IP client address to the Node.js. Whatever comes back as a response is going to be stored in the RPC response variable. If that variable is going to be anything but zero, which means that the IP reputation lookup is not clean for that specific client IP, we're simply gonna reject or reset the connection. Let's copy the code, paste it into the workspace, save the file, and update the plugin. This is it for part 2 of the tutorial and for the TCL iRule part of the configuration. I hope this has been informative and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!